We're at the beach, Taino Beach to be exact, on Grand Bahama Island at Joe's Bar and Grill in the beautiful Bahamas. It's a special evening. I know I look a little woolly tonight, but yes, it will be warm next week. We're here tonight because there's a special guest in town. Well, actually, there's a group of special people. We've got Fish TV from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. They've come down to the Bahamas to do what else but fish in fabulous seas. And with them is Ving Rains. He's here enjoying a weekend of uh, fabulous fishing, and we're going to talk to the crew and talk to Ving. So stay tuned. My name is Ambrose Morris, and I'm the manager of communications at the Bahamas Tourist Office in Toronto, Canada. So, Ambrose, you helped get all this together. Tell us how it came about. Well, uh, about two years ago, I met with uh, Mr. Leo Stackos of Fish TV in Toronto, and uh, he expressed an interest in working with the Bahamas Ministry of Tourism to promote the destination and its fishing uh, attractions. And so, from there, we formed uh, an agreement whereby we uh, will host Fish TV in the Bahamas. This is actually the second trip that we've made. In February, we were in Abaco, and we shot for a week. And that's now being aired on eight networks across Canada and the United States. And uh, we're doing the same here in Grand Bahama on an even grander scale. So tell us about some of the activities. It's not just fishing, is it? No, actually, it's a destination fishing show. And what they do is uh, they sit on a boat in, in uh, deep sea fishing, but they're talking about some of the activities that they, they participate in, like the kayak nature tour, the jeep safari tour, scuba diving, horseback riding, um, uh, junk canoe, fish fry, and, and, and everything else. Um, and so it's a, a reflective type, type show while they're fishing and catching grouper or whatever is in the in the ocean out there. All right here on Grand Bahama Island, all that activity. Absolutely, and Grand Bahama is the ideal place for it because there's so many things uh, that tourists can enjoy here. And we're doing this to invite, uh, let Canadians see, really, um, the variety that's available in Grand Bahama Island. And that um, it's more than just fishing, it's more than just um, lying on the beach. There are many activities that they can get involved with uh, in coming to Grand Bahama Island. All right, how you doing? I'm Leo Stockos from Fish TV. And I'm Ron James from Fish TV, and we're all the way from Canada. Toronto. <laughs> I just know the Toronto actually, but you know what? We've, we're coming here to experience Bahama life at its finest, and we're going to make sure the rest of the world finds out just like we did. Oh, you know what? It is an absolute unbelievable experience. Uh, we've uh, done everything. Dolphin. Swimming with the dolphins. Fishing is the, un well, that's what I'm here for, fishing, I love it, you know, bone fishing, uh, offshore fishing with the uh, big groupers, and we're talking scuba diving, which I can't breathe underwater, uh, that's the But I did, I but you know what, I told him, you got to put the mouthpiece in your mouth in order to breathe. There's but no I, way. I'll I tell you what, though, we're going to be doing this over a two-year period. Yeah. People do not know how beautiful the Bahamas is, and, what, and you know what, when they say it's better in the Bahamas, they're not lying. You can't get one of these in Canada, so I'm taking mine home. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. What's in that? This, uh, is called, just, this is called a, a, a Canadian gully wash. Yeah, a gully wash. <laughs> this is a virgin gully wash, according to all my fans. <laughs> yeah, because we don't drink alcohol ever, even in the Bahamas. Never. So, we'll see you later, okay? <laughs> How are you doing, Bang? How's Bahamas treating you? Well, let me just stuff my face with one of these fritters, and you, you'll tell me. First time having these, I love them. As a matter of fact, I had her give me four of these to take home, so right. I'm enjoying myself. Right. A little cold, but good. That's Bahamian Kong Fritters. Yeah, I mean, the, the climate here is a little cold <laughs> now, but good. It is a little chilly, so how, how's fishing going so far? We haven't gone fishing yet. Oh, you I, haven't? You no, just arrived we then. do it, um, I think, on Thursday. Okay, and, and have you been to the Bahamas before? First time. First time. So far, so good. Well, being quite honest about it, I prefer the food here than in the hotels. So anyone who comes out here, go to the natives of the island, go to the hood and get some food. That's what I recommend. The hotel food is okay, but it's nothing compared to this. Okay. So you're, no, you're noted for you know your roles, uh, big roles on Mission Impossible. What's next for you in your, in your career? What's going on? We'll have five films, films coming out next year. Uh, the tournament. Um, I have a film called Oh Man, uh, Phantom Punch, where I play Sonny Liston, boxer Sonny Liston, who Muhammad Ali beat. Um, you remember that fight? Yeah. So I play Sonny Liston. I have uh, tournaments. A film called The Goods with Will Farrell and Jeremy Pivens. 
And I have um, I have two other movies: the tournament, the goods, uh, the gift, a film for uh, Joel Silva at uh, Warner Brothers. So, and I'm getting ready to do a film in Puerto Rico called King of the Avenue. So I leave here and I go to Puerto Rico. That's a very busy schedule, and you've taken time out to go fishing in the Bahamas. That's fabulous. Yes, well, someone has to do it, so <laughs> it, oh, it might as well be me. So you think you'll be coming back? When it's a little warmer. I left L.A. It was like 85 degrees. So now it's about what? It's about 60, 55. 62 when 62? I checked last and of my... Right, tonight yeah, is 62? Tonight is 62. Right, so... But in a few days, it's the warm... The food is worth it, honestly. I mean, there's no comparison. And no offense to the States, but what they call Bahamian food in the States is not... I don't think it's true Bahamian food. So God, can... God bless, I have to go eat. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, man. Betty Bethel, General Manager of Business Development, Ministry of Tourism. So, Betty, what is a, an event like this tonight, or this, the TV production that's happening here, what does it mean for the country? Well, what it means in a nutshell is uh, lots more exposure. Um, as you've heard, Fish TV is not just a fishing program, but it is a destination show and it's aired on eight networks that reach Canada as well as the United States. So it's excellent coverage for us. The benefits of coming to this destination is the ambiance. Um, for this specific purpose is the fishing. We have some of the best fishing that you'd find anywhere. Uh, for the program Fish TV, you can do any type of fishing, anywhere from fly fishing, of course, bone fishing, uh, deep sea fishing. So that was one of the attractions was uh, the fact that they can do their fishing component and then get a destination experience as well. What uh, a feature like this does is, again, in addition to the fishing, it showcases the destination. Uh, these guys, when they're out, um, they will be experiencing uh, the dolphin experience, the kayaking. Um, they may go horseback riding. So when a persons are watching this fishing program, they actually get to see everything that the destination has to offer. And what we try to include this evening is the cultural component. You know, a little sampling of gully wash, conk fritters, conk salad, lobster kebabs. And it's then you get to do a, a complete destination experience uh, through the sampling. And, and what we're hoping that will happen is that people who aren't even interested in fishing will see that there are other interesting things on the destination to see and do and they will be prompted to go to www.bahamas.com <laughs>